you like new eyeshadow palettes? Well, I kind of love them, so let's talk about a new one. Hey everybody and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Sheena and makeup is light therapy for me. Today we are talking about the MBA Cosmetics and the the Enderain Cole. I'm sorry, I probably butchered her name. Sunset Beach Collab Palette. And I'm super, super excited. I have it right here with me. Okay, I'm gonna put the palette and some swatches up on the screen while I tell you a little bit about this palette. It was created by Dee Dee with MBA Cosmetics. And it has it's a 12 pan palette with two multi-chromes, three duochromes, one metallic, two shimmers, and four matte. It retails for $39 and they currently have a pre-order up for it because it did sell out already, which is incredible. I'm so happy for them. I really am... So I've already swatched this palette. I wanted to swatch it so I could see what I was working with and just kind of know what I wanted to use so that I wasn't just like dipping my fingers into each shadow as we go along. And I think I pretty much know what I want to do. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog. I'm sure you can. Let me go get her. Went ahead and put her in my lap, so hopefully she'll behave. Maybe be able to see, yep, see her little head popping up. She says, I want to be on camera too, mama. See, I'm a pretty girl. This is my baby. One of them. <laughs> I have to make sure I say one of them. So I wanted to just talk about the palette for a minute. And I mean, there are so many looks that I want to do. This color story is so gorgeous. I want like, <laughs> I had in my head what I wanted to do on the eye and I've kind of changed it just from looking at the palette. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> this palette is gorgeous. I'm so glad I got it. My only complaint is I wish this color was a little bit lighter but other than that i mean i think it's absolutely gorgeous and i mean i may not use that matte at first but i'm sure i will down the road now i'm not totally ready so i'm going to get my makeup brushes ready and zoom y'all in and i'll be back to do an outlook. Do y'all know Angelica Neekfist? She is the owner of Singe Brushes. Br bl brushes. I'm absolutely in love with these brushes. I use them over and over again. I probably need to order another set. I use them so much. But I had to clean them because I use them so much. So I just used my little color switch from Odin's Eye and cleaned them so that I can get started. I think I'm finally starting to get like a good setup of how I want to film everything. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do when we move in the motor home, but that's for another day. So I'm going to start out with this color, St. Lucia, and I'm going to start out with it because Karen Harris said that she wished she had started with it. So I'm going to start with it. And I'm just gonna put it in the outer portion of my eyelid, my crease. It is very pigmented. And just gonna go ahead and do it on both sides. And I'm actually going to hopefully make kind of a sunset eye. Now, I think that same brush, that is the EO2, it's gonna be like the perfect size for doing all of these shadows. So I'm just going to swish it off between colors and go on to the next one. Okay, that was Saint Lucia. Next, I'm gonna go into Na Naosu. 
I think that's how you pronounce it. And I'm going to do that in kind of the middle portion of my eyelid. And I don't want to over blend the colors together. I want there to be where like you can see the difference in the colors. But I don't want it to be a harsh line. So I am going to blend it some. But not too much. I think I'm getting sick. Which would make sense because I always get sick around my birthday. And my birthday is coming up. From when I'm filming it, it's actually next week. I'm going to use Fuji. And I'm going to use that on the inner portion of my eyelid. Now, I don't want it all over my face. But I do want it in the inner corner. And then I'm just going to do my lower lash line. And I'm going to do the same three colors that I did across the top. I'm going to do them on the bottom as well. And I think I really like how this is coming along. I think it's looking good. Next, I'm going to use my Singe Beauty EO4. And I am going to put this color right here. Oh, that looks like a fuzz in my brush. Okay. I'm going to... Oh, brush is rolling off. This color Bally right here, and I'm going to put it all over the eyelid. I think if I had a used an eyeshadow, like a glitter glue, that would have showed up better. I did wet my brush, but I feel like it's not as foiled as I expected it to be. It's kind of a little more thin in product, so I might have just spread out too much product in one spot. Because this one, this eye is doing a little bit better as far as the foil. So let me put some more on the other eye. I'm trying to remember what color I wanted to put in my inner corner. <laughs> That's pretty bad, isn't it? Okay, I know what color. I'm going to put this color Malibu right here and I am going to put it in my inner corner. This shadow is very creamy. And I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to put a liner in my waterline, put on some mascara and I'll come back and we'll talk about it. And this is the final look. I am really happy with it. I think it looks really, really good. I have ColourPop Dirty Talk in my waterline. And I have L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara on. If you want to know the rest of the products that are on my face, you can find them all in the description box below. But let's talk about my first impressions of this palette now the one thing I did say was I wished that Mally was a little bit darker than Fuji or a little bit lighter than F Fuji because they're so close in color that when I swatch them they kind of look like the same color if that one was a little bit lighter I would like that more but that's okay and then I mean other than that I really enjoyed it I think all the colors went on great they blended well together the mattes did, they all blended well, looked great together. I probably could have gone back and put like some more pink to because it blended so well. But I think it really made it look like a sunset by leaving it like it how it blended. Um, I like Bally. I think it looked really good as far as for a lid color. And I think Malibu looks just absolutely great on the inner corner highlight. 
so yeah i mean i really really enjoyed it a lot if you like this video give it a thumbs up it helps me and it helps my channel if you want to see more videos like this hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell beside it so you don't miss any of my future uploads if you want to see more videos with new makeup then make sure you watch this next video and i'll see y'all next time bye guys